Yo, yo, it's your boy Trey from Boas Abound. I'm back. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, I know I took a little hiatus for making videos. Um, a lot of other stuff going on. I really don't have an excuse. I'm going to be honest. Like, I have a couple small businesses and I really have my own time. So I could be making a whole lot more videos, um, especially doing the stuff that I enjoy, um, you know, including boa constrictors. But it just takes a lot for me to sit down and record and make videos and, you know, find stuff to talk about and edit and blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to just give y'all to it. I mean, give y'all to it. Give it to y'all raw and uncut. So I'm going to try to start making more videos more consistently, but it's not going to be super high production. You know what I mean? It'll just be me, this iPhone, and, uh, you know, a, a transition here or there in uh, the videos with the boa constrictor. So with that said, um, for my first video back on this YouTube thing, um, I just wanted to give y'all some general boa constrictor content. I know I said before that it's just not a lot of people breeding boa constrictors or, or having large, that have large uh, collections that, um, you know, highlight their stuff and, and really talk about it. It's a few that do it consistently, but there's so much more of us out there. Um, and like I said, I just want to Contribute it, contribute to that a little bit more, um, you know, whenever I can. I just got back from the gym. I, I apologize for my raggedness, and you can see all these grays, man. I really, when you when you put yourself in front of a camera, you really put yourself out there to see all of the imperfections in your face. Cause I feel like I'm a real attractive guy, you know what I'm saying? But then I get like real close, I'm like, dang, I'm an old attractive guy. But um, anyway, um, <laughs> so. Getting into it, uh, I'm going to just show you all some random stuff, some stuff um, that you may have seen from my social media accounts like Facebook or Instagram um, and stuff that you might not have seen. I really don't know. It just def it just depends on how I feel. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning. And as I'm cleaning, um, if I if the if the moment moves me to talk about that particular animal, then that's what I'm going to do. So um, I'm back and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I figure as I'm cleaning today. Um I'll do a little video, put a video together for y'all. This is my beautiful VPI Sunglow Head Annery uh, female. I've had her for a few years now, and um, the males have just not gotten the job done. I um, have not gotten her to ovulate yet, but this year might be the year. Who knows? But she is absolutely gorgeous for size reference. You can see my hand. And she's just beautiful. Super cool, super chill gorgeous. I have um, like six adult female VPI Sun Glow um, combos. Um, a few with Annery, but she was sold to me as 100% um, years ago, and I just have not proved her out yet. So, I mean, hopefully this year is the year. So as I'm spot cleaning and changing waters, I just wanted to give you guys some more you know, boa constrictor content, man. I've been out of the game for a little bit, so it's just random videos of whatever I feel like showing. Um, I used to try to think that like themed videos were like the way to go, but I'm too lazy for that. Y'all gonna get some general boa constrictor information and some beautiful videos, um, <laughs> random stuff uh, every once in a while. Now, I'm gonna try to post a little bit more consistently, but it's just too many, or not too many, it's not enough bow constrictor videos or content creators on YouTube, period. So, um, try to show y'all a little bit more of my collection um, as I expand and um, keep creating cool stuff. This here is a super fire, which is also possible Central American Motley, and it's also possible... Um, Central American T Plus. I believe it is because I never see the red in this one's eyes, particularly. Um, they say that the Central American T Positive Super Fires have like a purplish um, pupil, and um, I've never seen red in this one's eyes, so this one might be a, a visual, but um, until I breed them, we'll not know for sure. This is one of my favorite ones. Like, he was pure white like no speckles at all but every once in a while every couple months you see a couple little specks popping up here and there i think it acts character 
This is my IMG Labyrinth with a couple possible hidden hits in there. Uh, male, always ready to eat. So I'm gonna stay back a little bit because he can get a little feisty every once in a while. And I'm recording with one hand. I got my hook in my other hand, so um, bear with me. But he's absolutely beautiful, man. I love the combination of IMG really with almost anything, but with Labyrinth, um, it's not gonna get completely black, I don't think. But um, it's pretty darn dark. Um, I'm gonna mix him in, mix him in with my BPI projects, and uh, see where it takes me. But he's just absolutely beautiful. I tried to pair him this year. He's only two years old. Um, didn't really seem too interested, so I know next season he'll be ready to go. Just gorgeous. This is my IMG Doublehead Red Dragon. So he is Het Call Albino and Het Blood. It's starting to get pretty dark, man. I really like the way he's turning out. Um, I have so many solid black IMGs that the ones that don't turn completely black look really, really cool to me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling the IMGs with some contrast, you know? There's only so many solid black snakes you can have. But um, you definitely have to have at least one in your collection. And just that iridescence, man, that trademark iridescence of uh, IMG. You just can never get enough. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful snake. Beautiful, beautiful. So this guy here is my Scoria. And he's hit, um, call albino. He's supposed to be... Um, IMG as well. He was sold to me as IMG, but I'm not thinking it's IMG. Um, not positive, because Scoria and IMG are kind of like funky. They they work against each other. Um, I've seen some really really dark Scoria IMGs, and I've seen some that you can't even really tell. Um, but they're proven breeders. You know what I'm saying? And they pop out IMG. So it's just sort of luck of the draw. Sometimes I'm I'm hoping he uh, he proves out IMG. If not. I got a ton of other um, projects with IMG um, that I'm going to mix in with Scoria and so on and so forth, man. As a breeder, it's just fun to, you know, cook up all types of ideas of, of possible things you're going to, you know, breed and, and put together and possibly produce. Um, but he uh, he has at least a year. He's only a 21. Um, and uh, I'm just excited to see uh, what he'll be able to produce in the future. So as I'm recording these random videos for y'all, um, see a little bit of breeding action. You do not actually see copulation from this angle, but I saw it earlier. And the twitching of the tail um, is always a great sign from the male. Um, and excuse the cleanliness of the inside. I, I actually don't clean it as often when they're breeding um just because the pheromones and the you know a little bit of extra funk uh, in the air can uh you know encourage breeding but this pair has been together for uh, i think about a month now and um he's been going at it pretty hard so i'm pretty excited about what's to come from here but yeah whatever you see like that jerk or you know the twitching of the tail um you can almost be positive that, uh, that that there's copulation, which means that there's actually insertion of one of the hemipenes. So, and normally I wouldn't turn the light on and uh, interrupt them, but um, this is a teaching moment. So, there we go. Here is my albino superfire possible IMG and possible hypo as well pretty cool i'm excited about um the future with this girl i'm trying to get a male um actually a buddy of mine has a male i'm gonna see if i can do some trading or uh see if he can give me a, a deal on the male um because she's quite a ways away from being able to you know breed and prove out those uh those possibles or whatever but um that's a lot of way she looks um and how you know this is a 
albino super fire is the fact that it has a red eye normally super fires have pitch black eyes super dark but um she has a red eye i love the gold nose that's actually indicative of uh you know super fires as well and um she has some gold patching in various places also so pretty cool little girl she's a 2021 and um looking forward to the future for this for this project so this is a gorgeous albino fire motley male um that i'll probably be putting to work next year super beautiful man um it's a lot of subtleties that you can't really pick up on this video it's like a what fire does to albino is like a creamy milky uh pastel -y. is that a word if not i just made it up pastel like um effect and it just makes it really pretty um you can't really see it that great in the video but in person this dude is phenomenal have his girlfriend lined up already actually she's breed ready now but um wanted to get him up to size and get him ready she is a hypo fire het called albino and he is a again fire motley um called albino it's actually about to go in the shed but that milky creaminess you can't even really see it but like i said compared to my other albinos it's really it's really obvious in the eye as well Here's a beautiful Annery IMG girl. I actually have her litter mate brother. She's actually a IMG Annery Head VPI. Um, I have some older uh, snakes that'll be able to, you know, produce the same outcome or similar outcome um, that she will. But I'm just a sucker for. IMG for real. I'm not gonna lie to you. And IMG Annery is just that next level, that next step of a black and white or pure black with very little color. Um, you know, boa constrictor. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful snake. She's trying to hide from the camera right now, so I'll just let her do her thing before I get bit. I hate recording these uh, PVC um, racks mainly because in the beginning, um, in the beginning of me breeding or collecting, I should say, I used to be super anal retentive about cleaning these things, but they get so dusty so fast, man. It's it's a it's a losing battle. You cannot win when you have PVC rack, black PVC racks. You see all the dust, so I just gave up. I only clean them, or dust them once a month. Um, but obviously, I clean the snakes weekly, all 500 plus of them. But uh, not as much bothers me now as it did in the beginning. Like I was super anal retentive um, with the exterior of my husbandry, but I have too many snakes now. It's just I'm gonna be honest. Certain racks, especially black PVC, not much you can do. You just gotta <laughs> you just gotta wipe them down. Um, whenever you can or feel like it I should say because I could wipe them every single day and it would be dusty like like I didn't even like I didn't even do anything the previous day so but yeah back to the beautiful boa um, IMG Annery head BPI and this guy is very very feisty so I'm not gonna get too much closer one of my favorite uh, 2022 acquisitions or purchases as to say he is a rdr which is rdr bea which is ralph davis reptiles black eyed annery and i'll be honest these this new not new well one of the newer forms of annery um and boa constrictors is my favorite hands down i've, I've had annery one since i've been collecting but this rdr bea stuff um changes everything and he just happens to be 66 percent head um vpi as well and if you know uh vpi and rdr bea together make the specter and that's what i'm really aiming towards um it's one of the top of my list 
for uh, future projects. I just love the way they look. They look fantastic to me. They look absolutely phenomenal. Um, but yeah, so this is just a... This is no hypo. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you a hypo a little bit later. But this one is a RDR BEA, which is Ralph Davis Reptiles Black Eyed Annery. And he's also 66% hit for uh, VPI. Now this little Spitfire is a Ghost RDR BEA, who's also 66% hit for um, VPI. He's so light. I really, really think this one's going to prove. Um, and he's also an a hole. Uh. <laughs> A lot of my RDR BEAs are a-holes. But something you see regularly with RDR BEA, he's about to strike. You see regularly with RDR BEAs are this striped tail. And um, I talked to a lot of breeders and a lot of people who've actually been um, producing RDR BEA for a while now. And this is pretty consistent. Another thing that's cool about RDR BEA is when you shine a black light on their heads um it glows kind of freaky but there you go i do not want to get bit by this guy not fun small little guy but still a jerk i know they're not about to reach in there so i'm gonna use my hook after i press stop he's gorgeous also, almost looks like a visual specter. Not even gonna lie to you. Um, it's a gorgeous snake, but I'm, I'm willing to bet my my bottom dollar that this guy proves out one day. This is this first this season's this guy's first season. Um, he's getting the job done. This is a. Uh, Nice little pair, nothing amazing. Actually, I'm trying to prove something out um, in this male. Um, but yeah, nice big anery girl. Very nice. Uh, I think he's exactly 18 months <laughs> and he's breeding. That's crazy. Youngest male I've ever had to breed for me. So this is a really, really pretty jungle. One of my favorite jungles in my collection, actually. She is a proven breeder jungle head called albino. Um, I just love her. Um, she gave me a litter last season and um, she has this season off and I will be breeding her next year, getting her weight back up. Actually, she has some pretty decent weight now. She never was a, a very thick, um, or girthy female, but she has a huge head. Very, very pretty. She made a nice size litter last year too. I forget the exact uh, number off the top of my head, but look at my records and see. Let's see, pretty girl. So this is a textbook gravid female. I just the, took the male out recently. Um, and actually, I can take her out and change the paper. It's not too bad, but just get a fresh paper down there for her. Real thick, real girthy, hugging the heat. You know for a fact, um, she's gravid. And uh, she shed actually has a little bit of stuck shed left on her head, so um, I have a date for or potential date for her delivery. Um, this is a arabesque jungle head for call albino. She's proven for me in the past. Great girl, great temperament, really big and girthy, and um, a great mom. So I'm excited to. Uh, to get this litter because it'll probably be one of my top five call litters of all time. 
with the male that I paired her with and uh, you know the lineage that he came from. So here's for uh, hoping, fingers crossed. I guess he just wanted to make sure he, he got the job done because uh, looks like a knot. <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. I'll take it. Get the job done, buddy. So hopefully you enjoyed um, my reintroduction to the YouTubing snake boa constrictor video world. That was a mouthful. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try to get back to it. Those are some of my favorite snakes in my collection, but I'm going to say that about every snake in my collection because they're all my favorites. And like I said, um, I got right at 500 or, or right over 500. It's, it's getting ridiculous at this point. Um, but, uh, I mean, I love what I do. They're, they're, it's super enjoyable until I go on vacation. Like I just recently did with my family, um, for the holiday and you come back after being gone for multiple days in a row and it's just like oh you got so much to catch up on but that's a part of the game um and like i said I'm, I'm still playing catch up i've been back for like a week now and i'm still playing catch up changing waters and feeding and you know changing husbandry and again in this particular video i talk about it a few times but i just want to let you guys know that if you see a dirty enclosure don't come and bite my head off. Don't call PETA on me or nothing. During breeding season, which is what it is right now, um, and you ask any boa constrictor breeder, it's actually really conducive to breeding behavior. So I don't clean as often. Yes, you might see some poop or some urates in there. Yes, the paper might be dirty, whatever. We're just going to be honest and be real with you, man. Like, you just, it can't be pristine and perfect, but I'm going to give it to you exactly how it is. There's no sugar coating, whatever. If that particular enclosure is dirty and I feel like recording that particular enclosure, then that's what y'all gonna see. So um, again, this is my reintroduction and um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, a lot more to come. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. It's boys over everything, baby. Remember that. It's boys over everything.